On the 26th of July 2017, we went to Kachinga village in Merkit Sub County in Tororo District to visit Kachinga Primary School, which had nearly all people studying under trees. The government-sponsored school had been without classrooms for almost 10 years, and the teachers and administrators were worried about the pupils' welfare. We are not doing the right work we are supposed to do. Whenever there is any harsh weather condition, for us we close the school. The teachers told us that the pupils, who by then were over 600, were exposed to diseases and other kinds of danger. It was only this church that acted as primary six classroom and the school had no candidate class because of its condition. A few months after the story ran on NTV, government started construction of classroom blocks at the school. We recently revisited the school and found the builders making final touches to the classroom blocks. However, our attempts to have teachers and administrators comment on the new developments proved futile. We later learned that the story NTV aired caused panic among the district leaders and the school's head teacher almost lost his job. We asked the district education officer, Albert Odoi, why the situation had been allowed to reach that extent. Uh, the head teacher was cautioned because he misrepresented the facts. Uh, he was stating something to the effect that, of course, he was stating the bad situation on the ground and expressing no hope. Joel Musisi, the deputy chief administrative officer of Toro District, confirmed to NTV that the school head teacher Peter Okoth was put on the spot because the school construction plan was in the pipeline. If I remember correctly, he didn't even allude to the fact that uh, there was support in the office to make that school what you have just seen, okay? And he was aware that we had been having these engagements. And for, for your information, in public service, like possibly any structured organization, there are people who can speak for that particular organization. He said that the project was only delayed by procurement processes. The project was funded by Global Partnership for Education at a cost of more than 700 million shillings. This uh, program took about uh, one and a half years to mature. During that time, of course, the school suffered, but the district knew that Kachinga had been fully catered for and fully planned. Toro district leaders claim that the success of this project is only a drop in the ocean given the lineup of plans to improve education in the area. Although the completion of construction of classrooms of Kachinga Primary School has taken close to a year, it is expected to not only improve the well-being of pupils and teachers, but also the school's performance. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.